Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Drive-By Reviews, where today we're looking at the Alpha i3, and we're replacing the hard drive with an SSD. Here we have the 850 Evo, a Samsung SSD that will increase the speed of startup and other things in the computer. So here we go. First thing we got to do, though, is make a backup with Alien Respawn. Now, first thing you got to know about this is you need to update the program, but once you have, you go ahead and just create a factory image file. Like so. Now I'm using a USB flash drive. You can also use an external hard drive. But most people these days can acquire a USB flash drive pretty easily. And this will just take a couple minutes as we create a factory image file. All right, so it looks like this process is going to take about 30 minutes. So we're going to pop open the A50 Evo while we wait. Now, there's been some debate on what brand you should purchase. Samsung is actually pretty reliable. And, of course, the main things with these uh, SSD or any hard drive is going to be, or any drive, is going to be whether or not it's going to maintain its integrity and not crash and destroy all your data. But, of course, back up no matter what you got because no drive is perfect. But this one has a pretty decent rep. All right. Gotta love Samsung and their simplistic wrapping. Ooh. Nice. So small, efficient, effective. There we go. We're just going to slip that in where the hard drive is currently at. 31 minutes and 47 seconds to go. Okay, so the whole process took about 34 minutes. And uh, we are now going to end the process here. Shut down the computer. Take out the USB drive. Take out all the cords. And we're going to flip this sucker over and install that drive. Okay, here we go. We got it flipped over. You got to unscrew each one of these screws and then just lift off the top. And here we have our hard drive. So you got to remove this screw in the back here. Let's just get that right now. All right, you pull it back. Just lift this whole cradle out. And there's our hard drive right back there. So you got two screws right on the side you're going to want to remove. So we'll do that now. Okay, so once you remove the four screws holding the drive into the cradle, you want to take a look and see, make a mental note of how the drive is sitting. Kind of look at uh, the direction in which the push sign is pointing and where your drive is sitting with these connectors because your SSD is going to sit in the same way. So push this way, all the connectors face down, right? So move the hard drive over there. Here's your SSD, same thing. Line up those little holes on the side with where the screws are going to go right back in. And here we go. You just put the four screws back in. All right, so we got that last screw in there. We're going to lay it down right on top, lining up this with the holes in the cradle. And you're just going to push forward until you line up that back side with the screw hole. You're going to take your last screw, last one of the five. You're going to put it right there and tighten it down. All right, so we got that tightened down and in. All the screws are tightened, and we're going to put the bottom back on. Kind of snaps in, and then just tighten down your four screws. We're going to flip it over, start it up, and reinstall the operating system. So we got it all re-plugged back in. Once you do that, put your USB recovery into the slot, one of the USB ports, and you hit the start. Keep in mind, I'm using the front because I have a 2.0. Get a 3.0 USB flash drive and put it in the back side so it's much faster at this process. Okay, so here we are on the Alien Respawn menu. Keep in mind, you're going to actually need a USB mouse with a cord in order to activate or to interact with this screen. So here we go. We're going to plug in and we're going to go down to Advanced Options going to click on factory reset, going to click next, and here we go. Be prepared to wait with a nice bag of popcorn. Okay, so recovery is completed. We're going to restart the computer just by going down to the restart button and clicking. All right, so you have to go through original setup of the computer, but once you have and the computer is off, you can see how fast startup is. So here we go. Start the clock. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi.
nice. 15 seconds. Give or take a few. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right, and that's it. You got your new drive set up. Everything you have installed on the old drive, if you want, you can put an enclosure around it and transfer it from an external drive. But for now, you've got your computer slick and on a clean slate and ready to go. To the next time, when I'm going to try Witcher 3 and loading games on this brand new SSD. Thanks for tuning in.